I came to uh, the Czech Republic in 1996, uh, which is now uh, 22 years, 22 years ago. And uh, I just finished my university, I'd studied literature and um, I got into the uh, art scene here. And mainly I was working as a, as a writer for a contemporary art magazine. As a journalist, I was working on art catalogs, um, I was in publishing. And uh, for me, it was a chance to really explore and begin my career uh, as a writer and as a journalist. I also wrote poetry and um, did other things. And uh, I really fell in love with, with art and contemporary art, and in particular with artists. <clears throat> and uh, it was a wonderful time. It was a time of uh, exploration and uh, learning about myself uh, quite a bit. Uh, at the same time, it was a struggle. Uh, working in the art scene and being a writer meant that I had to um, make myself very uncomfortable in terms of my lifestyle and uh, the amount of money that I was making uh, was very poor. And, uh, but at the same time, I felt like it was a really rich time of my life. I was in my mid-20s. Uh, I was living in Prague during a very exciting time of transformation. And uh, I was really getting to know a lot of very interesting people uh, and making friends that would last uh, my entire life. Um, after about four or five years, I'd been really soaking, soaking myself in, um, in words. I was uh, translating um, from Czech to English. Uh, I was editing. I was uh, writing daily. Um, and uh, one day I just woke up and realized that uh, I was burnt out. I actually had, I felt like I had nothing left to say and the words were just dry. Um, it was kind of a crisis moment. Uh, I didn't really know what to do. At the same time, my, my wife, uh, I was married at that time, was pregnant and I was feeling extreme pressure to, to change in some way, but I didn't know where to go. Um, I didn't know what path to follow and um, it was very difficult to sort of make any decision, like to leave Prague or to try a different profession or anything like that. And I vividly remember walking through the streets of Prague um, and just asking myself, looking around at the buildings, looking around at the people around me and just asking myself, so what do people need? What is it that people need? It was like kind of a um, mantra in my head. What do people need? Um, what is it that they really want? Um, not just another product or um, you know, another gadget or something like that, but what is it that they really need? Um, so I kept asking myself this question and I didn't get an answer. It's not like I had a sudden flash of inspiration. Nothing like that happened. Uh, I kept going to work. I was trying to plow through, um, but it felt flat and uninspired and um, kind of lost. And it was interesting at that moment, um, an old friend and colleague uh, approached me with this idea of uh, starting a college. And I went into his office and he spent, I think, three or four hours um, just laying out this grand scheme for the next 10 years uh, of all this college that would um, form in Prague and telling me the whole time, um, this is really needed. This is something that's not here. It doesn't exist yet. Um, it's something that really uh, fills a need in the market and it's what people are looking for. And uh, this was really resonating with me. I, I almost couldn't believe it. And it was like somebody had just stepped in the door and you know, opened this box. And, but it meant something, starting something new. It meant making a big transition in my life away from what I had been doing to something entirely new. But it was exciting and it felt like um, a really great opportunity to, um, to develop something, to really create something new, which is something that I really enjoy. Um, so we did it, we jumped in and we started working on it. And at the same time, um, neither he nor I, we wanted to lose the connection that we had with the, um, the artists and the designers and the people that we had met over the years, um, which is one of the reasons that we um, wanted to offer fine art and graphic design as one of the main disciplines of the college. And for me, it was a little bit like, um, rather than working with artists on an individual level, it became, let's create a space where people can work where they can develop themselves, uh, where they can learn, and they can engage um, in art practice. Um, so 
for me, it was like um, transforming what I had been doing in, from writing and creating and working directly with artists to creating a space where people learn. Um, so that, that was my journey. And um, in a sense, it was um, answering the question that I'd asked myself, you know, so what do people need? Um, I think that people need uh, a place to work. They need to make connections with others. Humans naturally want to learn and they want to experience. And um, when people go to university, it's a time of their lives of real openness. They want to be challenged. Um, and at the same time, they need uh, adults and people around them to help guide them and show them that there are possibilities. And uh, I think that this has become, you know, something of a, of a answer for me. And uh, I'm not going to say passion, but um, a real kind of motivation and drive uh, to create such an environment.